Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with another one minute review. So the point of this show is basically for me to give, uh, listen to one mini of a song and give kind of some thoughts, critiques, all that kind of good stuff, talking about mixing, mastering, song structure, uh, guitars, bass, all that kind of good stuff that goes into making a killer song. And if you already have one, then that's awesome. So right off the bat, when I heard this, I was like, oh, man, this is going to get heavy. And I really enjoyed, um, you know, it kind of smacks you in the face right off the bat. Um, one thing I did notice uh, when the rhythm guitar, I think, comes in in the beginning there, I noticed some crackling in my speakers. And I was like, oh, no, is this too loud? Because nothing else was making my speakers crackle. Um, and even though when I turned the track down, it still was there. So it's just in the recording. Uh, I don't know if it's purposeful or if it's just kind of what it was happened is uh, it was too much signal that overloaded something that added natch like it sounds more digital distortion than analog distortion to me. Um, but something was distorting on uh not just like an amp distortion, but like on like an input distortion. So it adds a crispiness kind of breaking up thing that um, it made me worry that my speakers, I'm like, oh man, am I pushing my speakers too hard? But no, it was just like that. Even if you turn it down, you can still hear it kind of crackling. Um, so it was just something it was, I was didn't know if it was for effect because, you know, with metal and being harsh and, and epic and all that kind of stuff, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it just kind of sits, uh, you know, if that's just kind of what it was and they just kind of rode with it. Um, anywho, so then the, uh, with the, the pinch harmonic and, the, you know, the, the drop dive and all that kind of stuff, really enjoyed it. It's set up, uh, you know, and, and things started coming in. I was like, oh, man, I'm waiting for this drop. And then the drop came and the drums came. The drums were nicely very tight. Uh, but it's the one thing I noticed with a lot of metal, especially if it's mixed by, you know, more indie bands or, you know, not professionally, like not done in a huge studio kind of thing, or, you know, if it's done by the band itself or by more indie producers, it's just in a way of, there wasn't a lot of super bottom end. There was like some like super super lows i could hear so like even if you have your kick and you have like that really punchy kick and you have like the really low lows you're still there's still a section that you're missing and normally it's taken out by the bass but the bass here i could tell was more going with uh the the the, the you know the galloping of the guitars being super tight with that which was cool um but there was no super low rumble that kind of engaged me. It was like, oh, cool. It's, I'm getting some super lows. Uh, I'm getting a lot of really good mix. But there's a little hole here that I was really hoping to kind of fill out. Um, because that would have given me a bigger drop. It would have been, you know, even though, uh, you know, you still get a difference in dynamics. But just having that hole there kind of, I was like, oh, it kind of sounds scooped. It's like, you know, when you have a guitar sound and you just scoop it, you still get that lows when you go boom, 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 boom. And you still get the highs crispiness of, of the distortion, but you're just missing a chunk. And, you know, for a lot of people, they're happy with it. But when you start mixing and mastering, you, you really notice you're missing that chunk. So it's just kind of one thing when I noticed uh, when I was listening to the track, um, 
And I was like, oh, it's cool, it's heavy, it's in your face. The vocals are really well done. They're perfectly uh, mixed. I really enjoyed them being nice and in your face versus a lot of time in records like this where they're a little more behind and you don't hear as much. Um, here, they were right there, and I was like, oh, man, they're not hiding this at all. Here's the vocals, and it sounded really great. I really enjoyed that. The guitars were just amazingly done they were just nice and edgy and things like that they sat really well with their mix um but once again uh you know especially even when the, when the riff change and like they they get a little more palmy you can hear that kind of scoopness you know it gets a lot of boom 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 but it's still missing a weird kind of low end chunk to me um because like if you put on another record and you're like oh man and you put on this record it just feels like there's just a little something missing uh mix wise um so that's the only thing i heard in in the time that i listened to it um i thought it was really good uh, i really enjoyed it as a track um but it's one of those things where you when you're about to put it out just a b it with other stuff and be like you know does it have the same oomph as some of the other tracks that we like listening to and that's the thing because if you listen to a lot of tracks that are mixed this way you know you'll listen and be like yeah it sounds exactly like that so, you know uh for instance uh songs like like the like i don't know like pantera or things like that had that mixing style um but when it was re-released and you know remastered or whatever uh things like that that brings that low end back again so even though the original recording was more like that even some of the the, the things you can hear on spotify now are those like redone things and i don't know it's just it's just a thing like there's a certain style that's like cool beans that's kind of what it does but um i would have liked to see a little bit more low end uh just kind of fill it out and make it you know just as thick as it is crispy so i hope you guys enjoy uh check out their band uh down below link will be uh in our little description and i hope you guys enjoy hit the art subscribe button to check out other local bands uh and hit that notification bell to be uh notified when we upload even more videos so hope you guys are doing good and keep supporting uh local music i'll see you guys there bye Hey guys, it's Jade. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, you can subscribe over here as well as check out some more of our cool videos. Um, and please, you know, uh, thanks for supporting us. That helps us support uh, local and independent musicians all over the world. Uh, this is really cool and I think you guys are awesome. See you guys later. Bye.